Okay, so here's a really key theorem about elementary matrices. And the theorem is actually quite simple. Elementary matrices are always invertible, so they can never be singular. Let's prove this, and the proof is surprisingly easy. If you remember, there are only three types of elementary matrices, each one corresponding to the um, corresponding to a given row operation. So all we have to look at is, well, how would we invert each row operation, keeping in mind that if you apply a row operation directly onto a matrix, you can obtain the same result if you multiply instead on the left of that matrix by the corresponding row operation. And because of that, the proof here uh, works out. So let's consider the three types of row operations and then the corresponding inverses. So let's look at the first type of row operation, row 1. Well, the simplest type is the swapping of two rows. Suppose we swap the i row of a matrix with the j row of a matrix. Well, now think of this. How would you invert this? Call this row 1 inverse. You say, well, you took a matrix, you swap two rows. How can you get back to the original matrix? Well, swap those two same rows again. So the inverse operation is the same. If you swap the two rows again, you're back to the original matrix. So you can always invert this type of row operations. Well, what's the second type of row operation? Call this row 2. Well, you take some row, and you transform it by, right, this is the transformation arrow. You transform it by saying k times row i. So you multiply the entire row by a fixed constant. But keep in mind, k is not 0. Well, how would you invert this? Well, you multiply an entire row by a non-zero constant. The inverse, to get rid of this, is quite simple again. All you have to do is take the new row and multiply it by 1 over k, and you'll have fixed the problem. Right? If k was 2, then you multiply the row by 2, multiply the row again by 1 half, and you're back to the original row. So, we can again invert. And finally, the third type of row operations. This is taking a row, say row i, and transforming it by taking row i and adding to it the multiple of another row. So row i plus k row j. Well, how could you undo this operation? How could you invert it? Well, again, it's quite simple. You've added to row i k row j. We'll take it away, subtract it, and you're back to the original row. So take row i, and now subtract from row i the same amount k row j, and you've just undone this operation. And because every elementary matrix is constructed from one of these three row operations, each row operation is invertible, therefore every elementary matrix is invertible. That's it.